Hi all, Terhi Koskinen here. I'm playing today with February 2018 hip kits and focusing on the color kit from February. As you see, there's um, one oxide ink, one stencil, uh, delusions mists, which is like fuchsia pink, and also this lovely paint from Dina Watley. I think it's gorgeous and I really want to use it together with the exclusive cut file from HipKit Club. Um, this way you can use it as a stencil, but then you should have like really soft um, table or some cloth behind the paper to make sure the color goes through all these holes. But I have just an <laughs> um, usual table behind the cut file and behind the paper, so it's really hard and it just leaves some random random uh, yellow areas for the uh, white cardstock, but I don't mind. I really just want to color up this cut file because you can use it just like that on the background or cut it to smaller pieces or anything you want. Now the white cardstock here on the background needs something more because it's kind of boring just having some yellow areas here and there and I decided to continue with the oxide inks. First my idea was to take take off some some of the color with the spoons and mix it together with water and splash some something on the background but no then I decided to do some really <laughs> old traditional um, inking with the spoons and starting with this um, this oxide ink we had in February kit and then I'm going to continue the one with um, I think it was in December or in November color kit I'm not sure but it's always fun to kind of um, get a bigger collection of, of inks or anything when you order the color kits and these are really vibrant inks, I think. I uh, I don't need to add much more and you can actually color the whole area with that. I'm going to stay uh, in the middle of the page to make sure that there's one area with lots of color which I can um, cover with photograph because now it, as you see, <laughs> it looked really bad. So. I just wanted to uh, stay in the middle and that's it. But now, as the oxide inks are reacting with water, I decided to use pure water and kind of use this uh, cut file as a stencil. I really love this cut file, uh, but I'm not a fan of the egg shape because I'm not doing a Easter layout right now, so I'm using it this way, just uh, kind of painting through it and it leaves a little, um, I, I'd say it would be like a, a stenciled area, but something like that and mixing it with sponge, it will be fantastic. And I think I will continue it by splashing some water on top to make sure that the color will uh, spread around the page and that makes it even more fun. I'm going to use this like in the upper corner and in the lower corner to make the fun, fun looking background for my page. I'm also going to use the yellow page in some point. Um, Right now I'm thinking, should I use that card file, but no, maybe some more yellow. Well, the yellow was all dry at this point, even though I added some water on top. So I had to figure out what to do. And just by looking at that, it would be kind of boring. So I decided to took the stencil we had in February, color kit and um, ink some leaves and those nice flourishes or I'm not sure if that's the right word, but anyway, some patterns on the background and then 
still continue with that <laughs> you can actually use it just like that it would be wonderful but I decided to do another layer with the stencil and this would be a gorgeous um, st textured layer uh, this is just a regular uh, texture paste and again I'm going to use only the uh, areas around the middle because I don't want to cover all the page with mixed media I want something to rest eyes on like the white spaces but here you can see some peaks how it looks and I think this looks fantastic I can't wait to see it how it goes with the photograph but that's not the layout I'm co going to continue to the end today I'm doing this background and like I said I splashed some uh, water here and there and um, that, that way the uh, oxide ink will spread out but I also want to do a third one <laughs> because I'm so in the mood for crafting so again I'm going to take my my texture paste and the stencil and this time start with that one um, you you may find me kind of funny <laughs> to do lots of backgrounds but I think it's wonderful you can practice practice all the techniques and then pick up the one you love the most and sometimes um, even well, like here, I'm using the same products, same colors, but still I'm having all different backgrounds. Like the yellow one was really messy and, well, it was really bright too, but there was lots of going on. And now that I'm not uh, using anything color on the background yet, um, the layout looks already much more calmer and more harmony and yeah and also the second one that I did uh, with all the green from the gut file it it's also quite fun and the oxide inks look like watercolor um, when you splash on top of them uh, this uh, turquoise color is from the oxide inks uh, I mixed it turquoise one and the cracked pistachio <laughs> sorry about my funny English but anyway um, I mixed them up and had this quite fun color I'm adding the color on top of the areas I had the stencil work uh, and now I'm going to use the egg cut file at least parts of that uh, I'm cutting some flowers off and I'm going to use them um, on my paper paper layers. Um, I think this is kind of fun way to do, because um, in other, uh, well, in the second layout you can actually see the pattern on the background, but with this one you don't um, see anything like this on the background. But still, it goes so well together with this layout. Uh, right when I was recorded, when I recorded that um, this video, I decided to do another layout because I was so in the mood for crafting. And you will see how the second background turned out into the layout in a couple of weeks in my own YouTube channel. You can find it with my name or from my blog or something. I will add the address to the end of this video to my blog and you will find to my YouTube channel from there. And of course I will post it to HipKit Club blog. So welcome to there and you will see how the layout turned out. Um, I used only the February main kit for that one. So, so well for the background I used in <laughs> color kit but anyway so the products are a bit different um, at this point I thought I would use quite um, big pieces of this cut file straight on top of the background but then 
No, I need to do something else. Hmm. And the else turned out to be that I want to use the pieces between my paper layers, which is kind of fun to do. Um, I used my silhouette again. I had one of the, I think it was January cut files, that um, I find these fun leaves and I cut some of these using this paper from February um, main kit. It's from Pick Me Up collection from Paige Evans, Pink Paisley, and I think it's quite nice. It goes so well together with all the greens and turquoises from the color kit. And as I have those leaves, I decided to have something more of the same color to the layout, and that's why I'm doing these small uh, paper slices. Because I have an idea that I want to kind of um, make some kind of small stripes to the upper corner and also to the um, lower right corner. Uh, you can see now the photograph there too. Um, and I have strong idea of having it to the upper right corner of the page. And then do a small cluster with the title or some other phrases or word stickers or something like that to the lower left corner. It's a kind of natural uh, thing to do it with like that because if you see the photograph, well, of course you see it, um, you can see that um, I'm writing to the um, like like I'm going to the left side of the page. So if I set this photograph uh, to the left side of this scrapbook layout, it would look like I'm writing over the page. So that's why I'm I'm leaving lots of room to the uh, left side of this photograph. But well, that's in my head. But I always think like that when I'm doing um, layouts with with moving pictures, if I may say it like that. But now I'm thinking that I want to add a small piece of the gut file um, right behind the photograph and then then some, some paper layers, but I'm not going really wild with the paper layers um, because it it's already like really busy layout even though there's really harmony colors I'm using, but just a couple of layers and then lots of these cut file pieces here and there behind the layers and behind the photograph and and these leaves are going to do it more natural looking. Right now you can see those um, Pink Fresh Studio frames on the left upper corner of the screen and once I was doing this layout I thought all the time that I'm going to use those frames somehow because they are looking so good and the turquoise one says that happiness and well writing is a happy thing for me so I thought that I will definitely use that but in the end didn't end up to this layout at all. But that happens and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do another layout with similar kind of uh, color scheme that I'm going to use the lovely frame. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a small cluster to the um, other corner and I'm going to repeat the stripes um, as there is um, on the upper right corner, but also I'm going to repeat the cut file there in the lower corner and the leaves, of course, and then in the February kit was the most lovely, a beautiful day word sticker, layered sticker from Crate Paper and I absolutely adore it. So I wanted to add it there. It's a blue and like a bit 
brown colored but it still goes so well together with this and it's the title I think but I want to add some text too next to the photograph and I picked up this lovely sticker from Pink Press Studio um, as said these products are all from February kits so if you have them you can repeat me um, to embellish the layout I decided to add some puffy stickers these are also from Pink Press Studio um, <laughs> again I'm going with the green and turquoise flowers because they are fitting so well to this this layout I'm just adding a couple to here and there not that much some leaves too but I really want to leave the rest of this layout to to have nothing more because it would be too much way too much but I'm just using these most attractive uh, stickers here and there and then I'm going to finish the page with flicking some mists on top of everything that's something I do really often and I really like it because it it kind of con combines everything together on the layout so um, while I was talking about um, combining everything on the layout I also thought that uh, if I add something like really matte things like the thread and the cut file I want something closer to and these small hearts these are also from Pink Press Studio uh, will do the difference because these are really shiny these are really um, like fresh well everything here is fresh but anyway these are really gorgeous and I think the small hearts here and there will do the difference but now I'm covering the picture with a baby wipe to make sure that my horse isn't green or white or cold um, in a minute and I'm flicking some mists all over um, I'm using this shiny gold mist for the same reason that I added the hearts because I want to have something different I don't want to have everything like matte I want some shimmering things here and there and also I picked up this uh, white mist because I want to have some fresh dots for the darkest areas for the dark leaves and uh, for the dark green stripes in the upper and the lower corner but that's it kind of easy thing to do um, you can continue uh, decorating the page with adding some whole enamel dots or like um, something like uh, diamonds well anything but I thought this was enough for this layout I hope you are enjoyed for this um, layout and I hope you are inspired by it and I especially hope that you are subscribing uh, YouTube channel, this Hip Kid Club YouTube channel and mine because you will find lots and lots of weekly new videos here lots of inspire, inspiration and everything thanks for watching and bye! Mm -hmm.